Hey Chemistry, Mrs. KJ here, going over 2.08 cat ions. Yep, you say it just like the animal, cat ions. Have your notes, periodic table, and the board drawings from 2.06 ready. So cat ion equals an atom with a positive charge. Now just to review, what do we call an atom with a negative charge? That's an anion. What about if we just say, oh, it has a charge in general. So we would say any atom with a charge is called what? It's called an ion. All right, so let's get back to our cations. When will an atom be positive? When there are more blank than blank. So if it's going to be positive, think about what has a positive charge, what has a negative charge. Atoms will be positive when there are more protons than electrons. The opposite of a cation would be a negative ion called an anion. How do you tell the difference between anions and cations? Cations are positive. Ha 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 ha. That's right. I realize you are now laughing uncontrollably, so go ahead and hit pause until you can regain your composure. How do we get more protons than electrons? Okay, think it through. There's two choices, right? We could either get more protons or lose electrons, but only one of those is correct. Which one and why? We have to lose electrons. Why? If we gained protons, what did we make? A whole new element. And we don't want that to happen. We're not doing atomic bombs. We're not inside the sun with all that heat and pressure. We can't do that. Therefore, what we can do is lose electrons. Which groups will lose electrons? Okay, first let's review. Which groups were going to gain the electrons? Which ones almost had a full outer shell? They just needed a few more. Well, that was groups five, groups five, six, and seven. They gain electrons to get a full outer shell and be stable. Remember, that's a huge sentence. You want a full outer shell to be stable. What does group eight do? Oh, what was the name for group eight again? Oh yes, the noble gases. So what do the noble gases do? Nothing. They're rich. They don't need to do anything. And the real reason, of course, is because they already have a full outer shell. All right, so we know that group five, six, seven are gonna gain electrons. They will be anions. Group eight are noble gases. They already have a full outer shell. They're not going to do anything. Let's look at group one. How many electrons would it need to gain to be full and stable? Well, let's ignore hydrogen because that's so tiny. It just needs one more. What about the rest of these? Lithium, sodium, potassium. They each would need to gain how many electrons? Seven. That is a lot of work. As shown by my beautifully copied pictures from Google. Yes, atoms are lazy, just like everything else naturally is. They don't want to run around and gain seven. Are you kidding me? That's way too much work. And that's really what it is. It takes too much energy for that to happen. So group one will never, ever gain seven electrons. Never. Therefore, it's going to be a lot easier to lose an electron and have a new outer shell that's already full and stable. So let's look at what that means. Lithium started with how many protons and how many electrons? We assume that they're even because it starts out neutral. It starts with three protons, which we know from the atomic number. They start out equal, so it starts out with three electrons. Now watch this. To get a full outer shell, we could gain seven and fill this one up, but no. Remember, they're lazy. Check this out. Instead, I'm going to lose that. Well then there's no orbital there. And look at that. We have a full outer shell. It's kind of neat. So all we have to do is get rid of that one and look, we already have a full outer shell. All right. So it ends with how many protons and how many electrons? It ends with three protons. And if I get rid of those, it ends with two electrons. Therefore, what's the charge? So, okay, I have three positives, and I have two negatives. 
3 minus 2 is positive 1. And yeah, I know it's just 1, but in chemistry we usually put the positive there. So it's positive 1. All right, let's look at the next group. Let's look at group 2. Group 2. If group 2 wanted to gain electrons to be stable, how many would it need to gain? Well, how many total fit in the second orbital? 8 fit. It has 2, so it would need to gain 6 more. Blech, way too much work. Therefore, it's easier to lose how many? It's easier to lose 2 electrons. It's going to say, nope, here you go. I don't want these anymore. Where do you think these go? Well, they can get attached to other elements that do want it. Remember we talked about in our previous lesson, we talked about how groups 5, 6, and 7 want these electrons. Well, they actually get them from these atoms that are like, here you go, you can have them, I don't want them, because why? Now I have a full outer shell. So therefore, it's easier to lose two electrons. I have a new outer shell, and it's stable. Beryllium started with how many protons, how many electrons? It ends with how many protons and how many electrons? What's the charge? So hit pause, see if you can fill those in. So beryllium starts with four protons and four electrons. It ends with four protons and only two electrons because now the outer orbital is full. Four minus two is positive two. All right, see if you can fill in this whole table. If you notice, I did not include a Bohr diagram for you because you have a Bohr diagram. So hit pause, actually go through and do it, okay? All right, here are the answers. It would need to gain five electrons. It's not gonna do that, that's a lot of work. Therefore, it is easier to lose three electrons and have a new outer shell that's already full and stable. Boron started with five protons and five electrons. It ends with five protons and, whoop, whoop, whoop. Yes, you have to make those sound effects. It ends with two electrons. Therefore, five minus two is positive three. Careful, don't go too fast. <laughs> Sometimes even I go too fast. So two electrons, a charge of positive three. All right, so if we look at our periodic table, we can say, oh, we definitely have a trend. What trend are we seeing here? So let's look at our trends. Group 1, 1 valence electron. Group 2, 2 valence electron. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 valence electrons. How many electrons are gained or lost? Group 1 loses 1. Group 2 loses 2. Group 3 loses 3. Group 5 gains 3. Group 6 gains 2. Group 7 gains 1. Group 8 gains nothing. It already has eight. So the big idea is we wanna either get closer to zero or closer to eight, whatever is easier. So one minus one, zero. Two minus two, zero. Three minus three, zero. Five plus three, eight. Six plus two, eight. Seven plus one, eight. Oh, I already have eight. I don't need to do anything. Then we can look at the charge. If I, gain, if I lose electrons, I have more protons. So if I get rid of those bad electrons, woohoo, I'm more positive. Ooh, I'm even more positive. Oh, look at me, I'm super positive. I'm positive three. Oh, wah, wah. I had to get three electrons. I had to get two. Well, I had to get one. And nothing. So. These are some good trends to know. I would write this on top of your periodic table. So hit the pause button and add this to the periodic table. This will really help you over the next couple months because we're going to refer to this for many, many more units. This does not go away. So if you don't understand, please ask for help. Now, if you're sitting there going, wait, 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 what happened to group four? Well, group four is in the middle. So four minus four is zero. Well, that would work. Four plus 4 is 8, well, that would work. So what is it going to do? It's right in the middle. It has four valence electrons, so it could equally gain or lose four electrons. However, what it does is neither. It does not gain. It does not lose. It shares, because sharing is caring. Oh.
So it shares electrons with other atoms, and yep, there's a whole other lesson about that coming up later. So group four is going to share. There are some other elements and atoms that are going to share, and we'll talk about that. But for now, we've got to start with the basics. So we have this trend, and remember, they are going to share. Oh, yep, you also have to say the aw at the end of sharing is caring. All right, go ahead and work on your worksheet. As always, if you have questions, let me know. Oh, and just for the record, there may be some quiz questions from the last unit too. So don't just assume because I talked about cations that all the answers on the quiz are going to be positive. A lot of them will, but I might throw in some anions, so make sure you're paying attention. All right, see you later.